And very briefly this morning, we look at what I call dead men in the sanctuary. Dead men in the sanctuary. Let's look at the book of John chapter 11. And the popular story of Lazarus. John chapter 11. Verse 38. Jesus therefore again groaning himself coming to the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he thinketh, for he had been there dead for days. Jesus said unto her, Yes, we forbear. Say I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes. Yes, see, okay. And said, Father, I found thee as thou hast had me. And I knew that thou heardest me always. Because of the people which stand by, I said it. But they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when it does have spoken, he cried with a loud voice. Lazarus. Lazarus. Come forth. And he that was dead and it told you, could not came forth. Bound and and food with great clothes. And his face was bound about you with a napkin. As if he did Jesus said unto them, Yes, we from faith. And let him go. Can you say that loud and clear? Say it with your hear of authority. Now in Revelation chapter 3 verse 1 We read a lamentable scripture Revelation 3 1 And unto, unto the angel of the church you said is right This is said he that had seven spirits of God and the seven stars I know thy works That thou hast a name That thou livest And art dead Thou hast a name that thou livest And art dead Lazarus had just one problem Lazarus only one problem but it was a big almighty problem a giant problem indeed there was only one thing wrong with Lazarus beloved only one thing wrong with him but as a result of that one thing that was wrong with him all things were wrong with him what was wrong with Lazarus he was dead. Popularity does not count much when a man is dead. Handsomeness is relevant when a man is dead. Beauty has no value when a woman is dead. Academic qualifications have no voice when a person is dead. In fact, to be quite honest with you, beloved, all things that we think are important, they lose their attachment when death comes. 
gbogbo nkan ta lero wi pe won se pataki won o pada ni ye bi ye won ni kete ti ku ba de all this that we think we hold so dear they lose the attraction when death comes o gbogbo ta wa ro pe won se ye bi ye ni kete ti ku ba de won o pada ni ohun ti won je a man of god was ministering somewhere in the street on the street o ti se olorun ti se oluwa lopopo na ko and they were all listening to him but there was a highly educated young man there listen to this man of god as he continued to minister young boy was looking at him he was the most educated person around when the man of god has finished his sermon the man of god i have a question for you i say yes see in the last 10 minutes i've been noticing you you have been talking about load of sin load of sin every load load of sin but i don't feel any load on my head and the man of god asked him a question said if you put a heavy load on the head of a dead man will he feel it sorry and it don't iku se yo mo lara se no e won feel it oni lara ko ni mo why won't he feel it oni kidi bi ti o se ni mo lara yan sa because he's dead wa ba ba sori bo ti ku ni man say likewise oji se olorun ni be ge ge you see you are not aware that you even carry a heavy load of sin on your head is because you are dead idi to se mo pe o gbe eru wiwo e se lori re oni tori pe o ti doku there is only one thing wrong with many people of the world today on fe o kan so so lo sowo di si ara apolopo to ri laye o de o they are dead o ti doku as far as the bible is concerned ni ti bibeli as what of fact that is so thorough the world has a large population of dead people but who move about as the living aye ni ogun lojo awon eniyan to ti doku ti won si rin kiri bi alaye it is a common sight to see dead men eating a ri awon oku to nje hun is a common sight to see dead men drinking a ri awon oku ti won mu ko is a common sight to see dead men laughing o je o to wopo ka ri awon oku ko ma lerin is a common sight to see dead men crying o je o to wopo ka ma ri awon oku ti won so o is a common sight to see dead men getting married every saturday in all churches all over the place o je o to wopo lati ma ri awon oku ki won ma lo ko ki won ma se pe yawo ka ki lo popo no these dead people are all around us awon oku won yi won wa la ro won to wa as you are listening to the messages money you may be dead ni pe se se ti po e wa so wu ro yi e ti le doku as far as the bible is concerned ni ti bibeli i know thy works o ni emi mo nse re thou hast a name that thou livest pe i wo ni oruko pe i wo nbe lai but as far as the record of heaven is concerned you are dead ju bo ni nu akon si le orun oku ni o meaning that by the time we begin to carry corpses to the mortuary sometimes as well and what a pity this man is dead he died many years ago o tu mo si pe ni wa ta ba n ko ku lo si bi ti won so ku si oku ta n pe lo yi o ti le ti ku lopolopo du sey we just uh, celebrating him as god he was he died or some even never lived a kon se n sa jo yo ko ti ku ni tabi kan ro ko te ma wa laye larari as you are here now beloved ni pe se wa ni ba o lu you are certainly physically alive no doubt o wa ni pa ta la wa laye ba do not assume that you are necessarily spiritually alive so for my role we say ni pa temi o nbe laaye it is possible that you could be sitting down this money you could have been here for years and still be dead o se se ko joko ni lo uro yi ko si ti pe to tin wa bi ko si ti doku yan yan there are some simple simple signs you might tell whether you are really alive or dead awon ami keke ke kon wa ta fi le mo boyo wa laaye it is simple thing to find out find out whether you are spiritually alive or you are spiritually dead o to kere ni lati sa sa wa ri boyo wa laaye ta bo ti doku look the first simple sign for any scientist or any biologist ami keke re kon so so fu oni mo jile scientist abi en to ni mo ba oloji is it only dead men have no appetite awon oku ebi ki pa won they have no appetite ebi e pa won when lazarus was alive nipa ti lazarus be laaye he got hungry regularly ebi a ma pa ni gba gogo but once he died sugbon ni kete to ku he lost all interest in the food that his sisters were preparing o 
matter how appetizing that food was no matter how delicious the aroma that came from the kitchen it was totally unmoved oh 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 no matter what combination of food was put on the table he had no appetite for it anymore why? it was a dead man so one of the signs of spiritual deadness is, is lack of appetite for God this does not automatically imply lack of appetite for church you may be coming to church no doubt this does not indicate lack of appetite for praise worship or for dancing before the Lord this does not imply lack of appetite for jumping up and saying hey God is good it is easy to get church and God confused you get church and God confused you are confusing both church and God you can have an appetite for church but without an appetite for God lack of hunger for God means no spiritual appetite and that usually means spiritual deadness it will be a tragedy if you leave this morning service and the spiritual deadness still remains once you notice that the bible is a ball to you you find it so boring this boy is very boring although Jesus said that it is, our, it is more important than our daily bread but you don't have an appetite to read the Bible the, the meaning is that you are dead but the Bible Jesus told me to say that I can do on the other way I can do it on the BBC there are thousands of people who come to church who absolutely have no hunger or appetite for the word of God there are people who have no they are not interested at all in any form of Bible study even the small small everyday with Jesus daily power they don't read no interest they are dead Many of them have plenty of Bibles in the home, this version, that version, but they don't read it. And you will say, bring, bring, bring your Bible. You can all see that the whole of the Bible is new apart from the psalm. Every week, go that's why he's confessing confessing victory over witchcraft victory over the last place that is dead the other places they are unled it's easy to be jumping on my say hey 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 oh yes preach I preach it and you jump all over the place but you are a dead person because after you jump up and run all over the place they say what actually did they talk about you don't know because you have no appetite you are dead the kind of word that will change your life is not the one you hear you start jumping about it's the one you fall on your knees and say father I'm dead revive me it's easy to diagnose if you are dead spiritually. Check on your appetite for God. Check on your lack of it. 
When last did God teach you that and say, son, daughter, I want to talk to you. I I say, speak Lord for your servant is here. When last did you sit there and you read ten chapters non-stop from the Bible? When last did you sit down to memorize the word of God? Do you find it easy to read the Bible the way you find it easy to read these papers, magazines, all those things? Do you find it that easy? Or are you the person who only read the Bible because you want to go and minister to people, you want to go and preach? You don't read the Bible for yourself. You are a dead person. Or you are reading the Bible just because you want to argue with somebody. You are a dead person. It is tragic that sometimes when Jehovah Witnesses face born again Christians, they find that the born again Christians have no knowledge of the Bible at all. Some can't even open the chapter about the end of the world. They don't know where it is. Some, some even come to church without their Bibles. Some come with Gideon International Bible, just Psalm or New Testament and Proverbs. That's all. That is not a Bible you are carrying. You are carrying the New Testament. And they come to service, they really open the Bible, they are expecting magic to happen. They are dead. What was the late Justin? Like baby belly, one recipe, don't go shell, what you cook. When Lazarus was alive, he was an active man. But the moment he died, all trace of activity ceased. That happens to a person too when he's spiritually dead. There is complete absence of spiritual activity. They will not be able to find out one thing they are doing for Jesus. Once your life is not invested in the things of the kingdom of God, it is a dead life as far as heaven is concerned. And, and to many in heaven, there is a vacancy for their position already. Vacancy, they have, it's been advertised. Their position has been advertised. And when God begins to advertise your vacancy, then you are in trouble indeed. You have time for magazine. You have time to watch football. You have time to watch sports. You have time to watch television. You have time to watch all these home videos that are all over the place now. But no time for the things of God. You can talk to your friend for two hours. But you can talk to God non stop for 30 minutes. There is no love in your heart towards prayer. Whereas prayer is the love and fear between you and the Almighty. If you say you love a man, you love a woman, you can sit down with the woman or the man for hours and just talk, 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 talk. Prayer is a love and fear between you and the Almighty. The lack of activity on your part is a good indication of deadness. I need for Meaning that there are plenty of dead pastors. Dead churches. Plenty of churches that are filled with corpses of 
Human bones. Mary and Martha, they love Lazarus. Maria oh Martha, o fẹran Lazarus. But when Lazarus died, he no longer seemed aware of them. There, was, there is no awareness in the dead man. Dead men don't love people. Dead men don't see danger. Dead men are moved by tears or by crying. Crying does not do a thing to them. Dead men are totally insensitive to what is going on around them. When you are unable to evaluate and measure things on spiritual basis, it's serious deadness. Beloved, I stand before you here this morning. There are only three things that a dead man needs. Number one is life. Number two is life. Number three is life. That's what he lives. The place of your spiritual deadness. Can be the sound from your daily existence, the way you are living your day, the daily routine of your life. You wake up in the morning, no prayer, deadness. Wake up in the morning. No quiet time. Oh, Deadness. You woke up in the morning. Oh, No talking to your Lord Father. How is today going to be? Oh, bow Luas or Papa. Deadness. You woke up in the morning. The first place you rush to is your toothbrush. Oh, Jilo Uro. If you talk about Kukiri, Lord, if you want to be talking for you and the bedrooms. You have plenty of perfumes, but you don't have the aroma of the Holy Ghost. Not, not talking to the Holy Ghost at all any morning. Okay, bye. The only time you start praying some serious Christ is when you have a bad dream or when you know you have, are going to have a challenging day. So you can tell your deadness by the daily routine of your life. Now you rush into your car, you rush into the bus, you are mumbling words. You ought to have mumbled at home inside the car, inside the bus. It's deadness. You carry that weak anointing into the place of work, then the enemy overshadows you. The first thing that Lazarus did when he had comfort was that he stopped living amongst the dead. You may be praying for your prayer. Anybody can pray for your prayer. Anybody can call prayer point. But as far as everybody is concerned, you are a dead person. Proverbs chapter 7, we will read verse 20. Well, let's read it from 22. You go after and straight away. As an ox go to slaughter. Or as a food to the collection of the stocks. Verse 27. A house is the way to hell. Going down to the chambers of death. Anyone who goes to prostitutes. Whether enlightened prostitute, educated person, or the crude one, you are a dead person. It is the same Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16. 
The Bible tells us that the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. If you lack understanding of the things of God, the Bible calls you a dead person. So, bani mo ni pa o ti se ti Allah bi be li ti o ni oku. He calls the person a dead person. Okay, iru ti o ni to ni ani. The same Proverbs chapter eleven. Inu we we kona ori koko la. Nineteen. Ese koko di ni oku. Proverbs eleven nineteen. We we ori koko la ese koko ese koko di ni oku. As righteousness tended to life, bi ani ti duro ni mo todo. So he that pursues evil pursues it to his own death. Then anything that I be only to acquire. When you are pursuing evil, you know this thing is bad, and you are running after it. The Bible says you are a dead person. Bo man le taibi so mo konto nche yota bo zin le pare ni tibi beli otiku. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter eighteen verse twenty one. The Bible is running away. We only can get in the open and say, "Come on, let's go." Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Only what is yes, then the power. And they that love you shall eat the fruit thereof. And when it's so bad, the law just generates it. As far as you are misusing your tongue, your tongue is just. Doing two hundred words per minute, five hundred words per minute. As far as the Bible is concerned, you are a dead person. You want to go back to your own hello? Don't stop or don't be a wuko. Don't give me a wuko. Don't stop. Ni tibi beli ukunio. In the same Proverbs chapter twenty-one verse six. In the way we can now only cock on let me go and say kefa. Proverbs twenty-one six. We we only cock on. The getting of treasures by lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. In the Surani Pahoke, Oche a meeting that the Latin knew that the Latin one won't be in the Tokuwa. When you tell lies to get rich, you are stealing to get rich. You can sell your body to get rich. The Bible calls you a dead person. When you have family spirit, witchcraft. You are a lodge member. You are into the occult. As far as the Bible is concerned, you are a dead person. In the book of Romans, chapter eight. In the way Romu, Ori kejo. Romans chapter eight. Romu, Ori kejo. Romans chapter eight, verse six. Romu, Ori kejo, say kefa. Says this. Oivai. Romans eight six. Romu, Ori kejo, say kefa. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Carnal mind is deadness. When all you think about is just how to make money, how to get rich, how to get out, how to, all, all you are thinking about, your mind is carnal. You are a dead person. Unfortunately, if this deadness is not arrested, then the final deadness will arrive. Which is in Revelation chapter twenty, verse fourteen. If the present deadness is not arrested. This is where eventually it will end up. If it is your conscience, I pray that no one listening to me this morning will end up here. Mo bala dula ipe ko seni kani ito seti to mi ti your conscience of God going. Revelation chapter twenty. Iwe iwe ori ogu. I read from verse twelve. O kala ti se ke dila. And I saw the dead. But si ya oku small and great. Ati iwe ati agba stand before God. One do ni waji. And the books were opened. Ati si ya one iwe. And another book was opened. Ati si ya one iwe mi lor. Which is the book of life. Consider ti se iwe ji. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. Ati si da jo fa one oku la ti. According to their works, that they be sure one. And if he gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell were delivered, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And he was judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast 
into the lake of fire. Atiku, atipo, kunyaso, sinu, adakino, is the second death. E yini, iku keji. And whosoever, the abasiri, pastor, olushagu, whosoever, the abasiri, man, woman, okoni, obiyoni, whosoever was not found written in that book of life, the abasiri, ni kanti, apu, kawuru, kore, sinu, iweye, was cast into the lake of fire. Aso, sinu, adagu, ino, what is the implication of all this? Kini rabolabo ota ansoi. Many living corpses are bound, going straight for the second death. Opolo ko awo kutoni kiri one lot para si kukeji. If you are living in any known sin now, you are dead. Bo ban beni noe she yito mo ba yi otiku. This is why many people fall. Easy pray for the enemy. Idire pa ko lo ko kima inje. Once your soul is in the camp of Satan, you are dead. When you did not commit sin, Satan is a parasite. Satan When you sin, it becomes master. And he is the one who distributes death. By the time they are singing in the Lord and they are singing, shall we gather a deliver? Satan had already gathered the person a long time ago. What do we need to do this month? We need to sit down and think. Am I really alive? Am I revived? Is there a revival in my soul? Have I improved beyond where I was last month now spiritually? Am I allowing allow my enemy to dictate the pace of my prayers or I'm praying because I want the power of God in my life? Rise up on your feet now. Yes. Pray. I want you to pray for yourself. It's a prayer many people pray many years ago and the Lord visited them. But my Father! Baba me! Break me! Wobi pale! And remove me! Kosi to me mo! This, are the, this prayer people have prayed it years and years and years. And it has brought them spiritual breakthrough. There are men here who need to cry to the Lord this morning. So you can be delivered from the cage of the strange man in which you have found yourself. There are sisters who need to cry this morning. So they can be delivered from this thing that wants to kill them. You know it is bad, but yet you continue. My father! Father, If you want something to happen in your life this morning, you must cry to the heavens. In Jesus' name we pray.
praises with violent anger. All my virtues. The sin has stolen. Yes, I did I recover you now. In the name of Jesus, glory to you. Masika po shente ya boko pola bakaya ba. Boko po shente ya ba shandala. The shente ke ya bo shente ya boko pola ba ba ba. Something is happening to somebody now. This is a day to cry to the ambulance. In Jesus' name we pray. Now say, Oh God, Adam! 